Hey, this is Fred from North 40 Fly Shop bringing you a fly I call the Dumb Bunny. The Dumb Bunny was one of the uh, first guide flies that, uh, that I tied some years ago and uh, it remained one of my favorite go-to patterns in Alaska for about 25 years. Uh, in the early days on the Kenai River, I fished this from the season opening until the egg drop and from late fall on into the winter. The uh, very first patterns um, featured unpainted boring eyes, lead eyes, and it was on a 3X long number six streamer hook. And then I usually added some pearl crystal flash under the tail. Uh, I called it the dumb bunny because it had just standard dumbbell eyes um, on a zonker strip, and it was a very easy fly to uh, tie. It worked on the swing, it worked on the strip, it worked on the dead drift. Uh, it worked as a flesh fly, a smolt, a par, a sculpin. Uh, it was really the only thing I needed most days. And it accounted for rainbows, dollies, incidental silvers, and a surprising number of sockeyes, and even a few king salmon. Now that I'm in Montana, I've updated the, uh, the material slightly. Um, we've gone to some more contemporary things. So we're using now the 904F NU jig style hook, 90 degree hook. So we're gonna go ahead and start rolling out with that. I've just got some uh, white 140 denier thread here. So we're gonna lay down the thread base. And we're gonna tie in our eyes and I'm leaving myself a little bit of space there. And I like to go around six, eight times in one direction and then counter it in the other and try to get those eyes to where they're straight. And then we're gonna circle about eight times and then after that I'm gonna figure eight. Another dozen times. And that locks those eyes in pretty good. You wanna make sure they're nice and square before you uh, continue with the fly. So then we're going to um, add in our bunny strip. So the, the color that I like to use best is this micro rabbit. And this is just a light brown. Um, if you can find it in the lightest brown or creamiest version, that's what I like the absolute best. Um, and if you can't find that, you can substitute with just cream. And if you use a standard zonker strip, you're gonna wanna actually trim that in half. So you want that hide to be really slender and thin. This fly has a lot more action. I don't want it to be just a big clump. I want it to be really soft and flowy. Then that tail, we're gonna run that about an inch or so of hide length. So I'm just gonna find my tie-in point there. And lash that right down. And I like to uh, tie in this tail section first. And you notice I'm tying it upside down because since this is a jig style hook, it will be flipping over. So we're gonna get that good and secure. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut off this hide right there. And then on top, we're gonna add a little bit of flash material. And for this guy, I'm gonna use just some micro crystal flash. I like the, the micro just because it really has a lot of movement, super thin. Just gonna grab about six or eight strands. And then I'm gonna double that over. I sometimes will use pink or orange or add a little bit of color, but just the standard pearl here is pretty hard to beat. We'll get that tied right off at the back. And then I'm gonna trim that just a little bit shorter than my bunny tips. And that'll flare out a little bit. So then we're gonna bring our strip back into play. And we'll see if I can, I should be able to get away with the strip. It's a little short, but. So now we're just gonna get right back to our tying point.
So we get a half a dozen or so good lashes there. And then we're just going to palmer this on back. I'm going to go ahead and just use my rotary feature here to get a couple turns. And when I get up to the front here, I'm going to bring a wrap underneath the eyes. And then I'm going to pick that back up in front. And get at least one more wrap in front of the eyes. Try to just kind of get all that hair flowing rearward. And then I usually just like to lick my fingers, just make sure that hair is out of your way. Get a couple locking wraps, and then I can come in, get rid of that little tag. And then we're just going to clean up that head a little bit. Some reason my thread's a little tangled up here. But that's basically it. There's your dumb bunny. A little whip finish. I'm having a hell of a time. My bobbin thread got tangled up, but we'll fight through it. Got a little bit of a hitch on there. I think that's going to be fine. And then I'm just going to finish this off with a little UV flow and that will uh, clean that head up nicely and cover it off. So there we go. Super simple little fly has accounted for a lot of fish. I don't know what it is about this um, this color. It's not quite brown, it's not quite cream, it's not quite white, it's just real natural. And boy, the fish really seem to eat it up. So I hope you like it, give it a shot. It works great for me on the Missouri River for rainbows and browns, especially on the swing in the wintertime. Tight lines.